Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm Blackheart Prims and I'm going to be doing my very first video there's actually a lot of very first. My very first video, my very first card swap, my very first stamp, so and then a couple other things. Um, I was involved in a Christmas card swap through Hearts 1217 and that's Mel and hello Mel! <laughs> Thank you so much for um, letting me participate. I have had so much fun it's definitely been a learning experience, so um, a lot of trial and error, <laughs> and I, if I ever see red ink again, it will be too soon. Oh my goodness, I did not know until maybe two days into it that I guess doing the red hair is pretty tricky. I should have just went with brown. But needless to say, um, you know, for a beginner, I'm happy with it. And I hope everybody that receives their card um, is happy with it, too. Just don't be too critical. Maybe look at it from a distance. <laughs> that seems to be uh, the best way. But anyways, um, I wanted them to look like little presents. And I'm hoping that when they come out of the envelope that they're not all smushed and you know crinkled but who knows so anyways um, <clears throat> here's a little bit of detail on what I used uh, the background papers are from this particular um, card stack sorry about the yellow ickies on there uh, I was using it to hold my glue gun but this is a really fat card stack. And um, the good thing about this, I got it at Michael's, but the cards, or excuse me, the paper, there's not a lot of waste. There's a, a perforated edge here, and so it tears off. And then I just took my paper trimmer and, you know, it cut that little teeny bit off of there. So there was really no waste. Um, I really, oops, I really um, am going to try and find more paper stacks in this size just because of that. Um, oh, sorry about that. My card fell off. Um, the polka dot, let me get it better. The polka dot uh, background paper is actually wrapping paper from uh, Walmart. And it was so thin that you could see right through it when I purchased it last year. So I saved it and I was able to use it this year. I will not, my, oh, excuse me, my paper trimmer is a Cricut paper trimmer. And it would not cut this wrapping paper to save my life. It kept bunching and ripping. So... Luckily, I had some pinking shears, and I used those, and I actually like that effect better. So, you can still actually buy this paper at Walmart, and I think I'm going to go get another roll while I have it, because, number one, I love red, and I love red polka dots, and I think you can just, I'll use it all year round, since I'm getting into cards. Um, okay, enough about that. The image is saturated canary her name is candy cane and i got her from seven kids college fun i'm sure most of you have heard of her and if not locate that website she offers a lot of great deals she has a ton a ton of different stamps supplies um just a lot of everything so and she, she does free shipping, um, you know, it, she runs coupons. So I have a very limited uh, stash of stamps. And I really like the Crafting Kimmy and um, Cheeky Girls. And 
her stamps are always probably about 50 cents cheaper than everybody else. So when you combine that with free shipping, you know, it it's a deal. At least in my book, it's a deal. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is getting, this is like my fifth take. So <laughs> anyways, um, the little snowflake um, is a Martha Stewart Arctic snowflake. And, you know, the ribbons from Walmart, um, the off-white is just seam binding. And then I used, you know, the stickles and um, I used stickles over her wings. And really, that's about it. Um, sorry if you hear the snorting. My dog Maggie has come to say hello. <laughs> she just was outside. Okay. Oh, wait, there she is. Say hello. Oh, she's wanting on my lap. Anyways, um, where was I? Oh, the cards. Real quick. No, Maggie, don't do that. The, the brown card right here. I got this card and envelope set from Hobby Lobby. And it came in a pack of 50. And it's super, oops, let me go right here. It's super, super thick cardstock, and um, I love the color. So I'm going to go back and get some. Uh, it was 50 of them for $9.99, but if you use your 40% your off coupon, I think that's a good deal. Again, I'm new to all this, so there may be, you know, some place out there where you can get them cheaper. I have no idea, because I'm all about the cheap, let me tell you. Um, but I just know that when I really like something, I stick with it. So, two things. I'm going to go back to Walmart to get another roll of this paper. And going back to Hobby Lobby to get some more of the, uh, cards. Now, the reason why I got into cards, I make dolls. And this is what I make. And I believe I called her Cupcake Confections. Something along those lines. I don't know. She sold already. But um, I sell them on eBay. Let me try and get a little bit of a close-up. Her little... Um, it was so funny. The inspiration for this doll was this little cupcake ornament that I found at Walmart. And I thought, I saw it and I thought, oh my God, I totally have to make a doll or I can stick this thing on her head. So <laughs> there you go. Um, and then also I had totally finished her and I was just getting ready to put her on eBay. And I don't know, I needed to go to Walmart for some weird reason. And um, I went in, I always go in through the garden section because it's less crowded. But I saw this, this, a little bird ornament and um, I thought oh my god that would look so cute on her hand because I kind of tilted her head Whoa! Oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> I just about dropped my phone sorry okay where was I oh yes because her head was tilted so I thought you know that kind of snow white look where she had the bird on her hand and she was looking at it Anyways, that's what I was thinking. So, anyways, I make these dolls, and I wanted to make a card to go with my dolls. And I stumbled upon a Craft and Kimmy stamp. And I'm kind of more of a gothic-y type doll maker. And one of the stamps, I, I don't know, I don't recall what it was, but needless to say, I thought, oh my god, if I could get that stamp and learn how to color it and da 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 da, I'm gonna make, you know, a card to go with my dolls. So I bought the stamp. Then of course I had to, you know, buy ink and blah blah blah. And you know how it goes. One thing leads into another, and you know what a ten dollar idea turns into, you know, a hundred dollars worth of crap. <laughs> So, luckily, my dolls, um, the style that they are, 
a lot of the card making stuff I can use on my dolls. So for example, her wings, um, they're actually inked with Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And, um, you know, and I've got a little bit of his, um, what is that, the, uh, oh goodness, the stickles, his dry fine glitter, a lot of times I use that on, sorry it's a little dark, on their cheeks, I didn't on this one because I used a lot of the, um, on her little thing right here, German glitter glass, used it on her hat and her wings, but, you know, I'd like to use that on my cards too because I love that stuff. So, my point is I'm going to be making a doll and then I'll be making a card to go with the doll. So I'll be doing a video, you know, showcasing both of them. And I do not know how to blog. I don't have a website. I just... I'm 41 years old, but for some reason I just cannot get into um, all of that. My son just showed me how to do this on my cell phone, so I was like, woohoo! Hopefully he can help me figure out how to upload it. So anyways, um, but that's what I'm wanting to do. Um, because I, I really enjoy making dolls. And I really, really enjoy making cards. So there's a little bit of information. I'm sorry I'm so long-winded. Um, I just have so much information that I want to share with you guys. But um, it looks like I'm hitting 12 minutes, so I really need to end this. So anyways, again, Mel, just a shout-out to you. Hearts1217. Thank you, thank you, thank you for including me in this card swap. I enjoy going to the mailbox every darn day because every day I'm getting a card. And to me, that's just amazing, you know, and fun. You know, it's just like, wow, you know, it's just fun. I don't know, we're such a digital age. And um, I kind of wish more people would have, you know, written hand, handwritten things in there, but I'm kind of old fashioned that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I love the whole handmade thing. Anyways, thank you, thank you for watching. Sorry this is so long. Thank you, Mel. And um, everybody have a wonderful holiday. And uh, look forward to my next video. Also, my son wants to post the very first video we tried to do as a blooper. So... You know, if you need a giggle, watch it because, yeah, I'm sure everybody that's tried to make a video has at least, you know, 20 of those somewhere. And I think those are funny. So anyways, um, once again, thank you and I will end this. Bye-bye.